an added attraction, most falls to curfew. Introducing from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing 135 pounds, Kay Roberts. From Nashville, Tennessee, weighing 138 pounds, Debbie Combs. Now, I'm sure you'll agree they're both a little bit better looking than Bulldog Bob Brown. Quite a bit better looking, in fact. The lady wrestlers, Debbie Combs against Kay Roberts. Debbie, the blonde Combs. Combs was caught in a wrist lock countered with a hammer lock on Kay Roberts. Roberts countered with a hammer lock of her own on Debbie. Debbie spins behind Kay Roberts. Flying mare by Kay Roberts. Debbie complains that Kay was pulling hair. Debbie Combs works on the left arm of Kay Roberts. Puts it into a wrist lock. Most falls to curfew. Debbie Combs and Kay Roberts. No question that time that Kay Roberts pulled there. No question for you because you were at a different angle watching on the low camera from home. You could see her pull the hair. But the referee, Lee Warren, was circling. And Kay Roberts waited until the referee was out of view. And, of course, a good referee does keep moving, keep circling. Five minutes left. Five minutes. Five minutes remain in the curfew. Good counter by Debbie Combs. And Debbie, of course, has wrestling in her blood. Her mother was also a real fine lady wrestler. Cora Combs was in St. Louis many times. A fiery redhead was Cora Combs. Count of two on Debbie Combs, who then comes up with a head scissors on Kay Roberts. Debbie balancing up to get extra pressure on that head scissors. Debbie Combs, a little bit the taller and a little bit the heavier of the two girls. Strong legs, that head scissors, particularly effective as she bounces the head. I, just, I believe Kay Roberts just took a hunk out of Debbie Combs' leg. Kay Roberts bit Debbie Combs to break the head scissors. Nasty young lady. Doggone Mickey, I was even going to arrange a date for you with Kay Roberts. I don't think I will now. She might be a little too tough for either one of us. Debbie Combs. Knocks down Roberts, Roberts dumps Combs going for the leg, and then Roberts comes up with a double toe hold. Fast and furious action from the ladies. And it'll be fast and furious in that 16-man wrestle royal. It'll be fast and furious when Andre the Giant and King Kong Brody square off. It'll be equally fast and furious when Dory Funk Jr. tries to take the Missouri title from Dick Murdoch. Debbie's shoulders are down, but not for long. Debbie, really aggressor there. She charges Roberts to the ropes, and Monkey flips her off. Again, using the foot to toss Roberts over, and Roberts slides right out of the ring. Kay Roberts taking a stroll outside the ring, letting Debbie Combs cool down, lose some momentum. There's a chance Mickey should have asked her for her phone number or something. No way, I, I felt it right in the chops. She just dumped Debbie Combs heavily. Combs at the back of her head when she fell. Side headlock by Kay Roberts. I tell you, these two girls are tough, man. They play it rough in there, just as rough as the men. Roberts jerks the top cable into the throat of Debbie Combs. Roberts again strangling Debbie Combs over that top rope. Side headlock again by Kay Roberts on Debbie Combs. No falls yet. Lee Warren checking to make sure that Roberts wasn't strangling. Then Debbie Combs yanks Roberts' hair and throws her down. Two minutes left. Two minutes. Two minutes remain. Step over toe hole by Kay Roberts. She tried to get a little extra leverage by pulling tights, but Combs counters and comes up with a double toe hole on Roberts. Under two minutes remaining. Under two minutes remaining in the curfew. It's been pretty evenly matched, Combs and Roberts. Roberts, quite a spitfire. She kicks Combs away. She's a talkative little girl, too. She really chops him out. Maybe she is related to Bulldog Brown. Combs tossed to the buckle oh, by Kay Roberts. How do they take that punishment? She's beautiful compared to Bulldog Brown. Roberts reversed into the buckle. Debbie Combs mounting the ropes. Crawling behind Kay Roberts, and she's riding Kay Roberts with a victory roll. That's what it's sometimes called, a rolling front head scissors. And there's the first fall. There's the first fall. And we'll
it'll check the clock, and it's the only fall. We have a winner, Debbie Combs, with the victory roll. Debbie Combs mounting those ropes, coming up behind Kay Roberts. I really don't think Roberts exactly knew what was happening. She was maybe a bit befuddled, and that made it a little bit easier for Combs to ride Roberts over, catch her in that cradle, and finished off the match. Here's Mickey. With time running out, the winner of the only fall and the match with the victory roll, Debbie Combs.